All right, guys, the NFL season is officially winding down. It is now time for the playoffs, and today we're going to be cooking up a Jordan 1 cleat for our buddy Quandre Diggs of the Seattle Seahawks. It's his first time playing in the playoffs, and he's been a weekly regular of ours for a couple years now. So he told us to go absolutely wild with this week's pair. And so as I started to think about what we were going to do, I thought it would be pretty cool to do a safari thing. That's the first thing that kind of came to my mind when he said go wild. So, you know, as we start thinking about safari prints, we have cheetah print, tiger stripes, zebra stripes. These don't necessarily line up with Seahawks colors. So we have the task of still creating a cohesive design. One, so that it looks cool and you can tell it's a Seahawk cleat. And two, so he doesn't get fined and it still lines up enough with the NFL cleat guidelines and whatnot. So what we're gonna do first is just go ahead and start piecing together some of our ideas in the Procreate app on our iPad. Ultimately, we narrowed this down to two choices. The first one where we have the actual colors of the Safari prints, so it's really bold, really loud. And then our second choice, equally bold and loud. But what I decided to try was doing all of the different Safari prints using the Seahawks color. So not using the actual colors of a giraffe print or tiger stripes, kind of mixing in some of the Seahawks colors to try to create a design like that. Ultimately, I think it's gonna be a little bit cooler if we go with the actual colors of the Safari print. So now we're gonna go ahead and get things started on the cleat itself. All right guys, welcome back to another quick little segment of hashtag AskDCF. Today's question of the day is from Michael Richardson. What is the thing that you are airbrushing your shoe in? Without one of those, would it probably be a bad idea to airbrush indoors? Is it dangerous to airbrush indoors due to like the fumes and stuff? So what we're using right here is a tabletop airbrush booth. This works great if you're gonna be doing any airbrushing. If you don't have one of these, all of those paint fumes and kind of all of that leftover paint from airbrushing is gonna get into the air and then it's gonna end up on your tables and surfaces nearby. So what this does is it has a little fan, I'll turn it on, it's not too loud. It's gonna go ahead and pull in all of those fumes and the airbrushing and all of those chemicals and draw them in through there and then there's a hose connected to the back. You put it in a nearby window, or we have a dryer duct connected to something outdoors, a little bit of a bigger setup, but you can just be right next to any nearby window and do all of your airbrushing. And it's great. You also wear a respirator with it. You quickly change out the filters with these little one inch or half inch fiberglass filters. Change them out every month or so and uh, it's just going to keep all of your paint enclosed. You're not going to get paint everywhere else in your studio or on any of your other tables and surfaces nearby. So highly recommend one of these. We'll put the one that we have in the description down below. And if you guys would like to have one of your questions asked and answered on one of these segments, make sure you use the hashtag AskDCF in the comment section down below.
So now that we have all of our Safari prints done, I wanna bring out a little bit more of this Seahawks Turbo Green. So what my plan is, is to take the concept from the Jordan 1 Bloodlines, and I'm gonna add that Turbo Green outline around all of my Safari print panels. I think it'll just bring out a little bit more of that green and really add a cool element to the design. All right guys, we just came in from outside, freezing cold here in Chicago right now. I just wanted to get some additional shots of these cleats. I always like to have some kind of outdoor natural lighting picks. You really can never beat that as far as really capturing uh, just my favorite look for cleats. But here you can also see behind me, this is what we do sometimes for like an indoor setup. So if you see the shots of these cleats on Instagram, I just have a piece of craft paper as my background, couple lights right here, and then we do a little bit of fun stuff in Photoshop to get that real kind of clean uh, orange background that you guys saw if you go ahead and take a look at these pictures on Instagram. We also have a pair of cleats for another guy on the Seahawks, uh, a Star Wars pair, really cool with the timing of Rides of Skywalker. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. This was a, a little bit of a different one, but we're excited for you guys to just get back into seeing uh, a lot of the cool stuff that we do here at DCF and uh, behind the scenes look at some of this type of random stuff that not that many people are talking about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any other video suggestions, please feel free to let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you guys in that next video.